stage 3B cardiac amyloidosis, as we all know, it's, it's a very difficult to treat population given these patients are usually um, extremely sick and frail at diagnosis with advanced cardiac involvement and with an NT pro BNP of more than 8,500 by definition. Um, so the Andromeda trial, which initially tested daratumumab plus Cyborg D versus Cyborg D in a randomized fashion, did not include stage 3B patients. It included patients with stage 1 to 3A. Um, hence, we at Columbia University and also at Cornell University, the New York Presbyterian Hospital, we looked at a retrospective case series on all patients with stage 3B AL amyloidosis who were treated with daratumumab plus Cyborg D in a dose-modified manner since the institution of this regimen at our at our uh, hospital, which was roughly around mid-2019. And uh, we had a total of 21 patients who were treated with Dallas eye body. We had to exclude three patients for um, some or the other reason, because they were not evaluable. And 18 patients were included for our analysis. So we found that among the 18 patients with stage 3B cardiac AL amyloidosis who were treated with Dallas eye body, uh, we found that the 12-month overall survival in these patients was 65%, which is significantly better compared to the historical control data that we have from various large retrospective cohort studies in which the 12-month overall survival ranged from approximately 25 to 30 percent. So it's almost double that we saw in, in our uh, cohort. Of course, these are small numbers. We definitely need to you know, look at larger number of patients and at a longer follow-up, but definitely seems promising. And it seems like the Darasai body may be able to make a dent in the natural history of this disease and uh, decrease early mortality. Uh, 7 out of 18 patients, so roughly 40% of our patients in this cohort, uh, unfortunately died within the first year. So the early mortality rate is still significant and we need to improve on that uh, mainly by early diagnosis. And we will see if antifibril antibody treatments, there are two currently clinical trials ongoing. One is the KL-101 and the other is the drug by Prothena, the Neo-D001 or Betamimab. And it would be interesting to see whether those antifibril antibodies can make a further dent in uh, the natural history of stage 3B patients and, and decrease early mortality. Um, so overall, we found really promising efficacy signal. The response rates, the hematologic response rate was comparable to the Andromeda trial, the CR rate of approximately 50%. And the organ response rate in our cohort, the cardiac organ response rate was also approximately uh, 59%, so al almost 60%, with a high number of patients achieving a deep cardiac response, that is a cardiac VGPR, very good partial response or better. Um, we did not have any treatment-related mortality. However, we did see grade 3 or higher infection in approximately 20% of patients, including uh, uh, two patients who had CMV viremia. Hence, it also highlights the importance of monitoring for infections, including atypical infections such as CMV in this patient population. So we are excited about the data. Um, now we need more prospective studies on uh, single agent aratumumab, which is one of them is already ongoing by the European Myeloma Network, and maybe even combination therapies in stage 3B AL amyloidosis and the addition of antifibril antibodies to potentially further improve outcomes.